Did you know that this educational YouTube channel gets over 4 million views and generates over $15,000 in ad revenue every month? And here's another channel taking in millions of views and thousands of dollars in revenue. And they have achieved this without ever showing a face on camera. Now, with the power of AI, you too can create such educational videos in a matter of minutes. You can get OpenAI's ChatGPT to write completely unique educational YouTube scripts in under 10 minutes and then use InVideo to quickly turn them into a publish-ready video without ever having to learn any script writing or video editing skills. And today, we'll show you how you can do exactly this in just five easy steps, even if you're a complete beginner to video creation. Let's get started. The first step is to pick an idea for your video. Since educational videos can cover a huge spectrum of topics, you want to first decide your niche and then find a popular channel in that category. Look at their top performing videos to get an idea of which topics and ideas have gotten them the most views. You want to start by creating videos on similar topics. And that's what we're also doing for the purpose of this tutorial. We'll look at Alux's most popular videos and then start working with an idea that has mass appeal. Their top 10 lists have done really well. And since our channel is about finance, a video on the top 10 finance books everyone should read can do really well for our channel. Once you've finalized your idea, the next step is to write a compelling script. And with ChatGPT, you can do that in minutes. Start by signing up or signing in to your ChatGPT account. The process is fairly straightforward. You can sign up with an existing Google or Microsoft account and then verify your phone number with an OTP to get started. Once you're logged in, you can see a prompt box at the bottom of the screen. This is where you will give the AI prompts for the kind of script you want. As with any AI tool, how you write your prompts will massively drive the success of your video. An easy way to simplify this is to ensure that you include five key elements in your prompts. These are the type of video that you're creating, such as a YouTube video script or a YouTube shorts video script, the topic that you want it to cover, the length of the video, the tone of voice you are going for, and any specific details you want to add as well as any inputs on scripting style. For this video, I want the AI to create a script around the top 10 finance books everyone should read. So here's how we can write the prompt for that. Now with this, we've already taken care of the topic, the platform and the length of the video. Now we need to add some details about the video's tonality. So I'll write. And now I want some additional details as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. A detailed prompt like this ensures that you get a fairly detailed script from the get go. Here's another example of a prompt for another educational video channel. Now, once you click enter, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. It takes a couple of minutes depending on how long your video is. And once you have the first draft, you can read through to see if you want any changes. If you do, just give it additional prompts. I feel that the explanation for each book needs to be a little more detailed and we also need a concluding statement. So that's what I'm going to prompt it to include. Often, it doesn't take more than one or two iterations to get the script you want. From here, simply copy and paste your script into a plagiarism checker like this one to check the sanctity. As you can see, the AI has generated a completely unique script that is not picked up from anywhere. It highlights the names of these two books in red, but that is not really plagiarism. However, if you do find that your script has plagiarized content, you can simply rephrase those parts to ensure that it is unique. Now, once your script is finalized, simply paste it in a doc file and you're ready to start creating your video. The next step is to create your voiceover based on your script. This is a crucial step for faceless videos because this is your chance to give a personality to your videos. Additionally, your voiceover will determine the media you use for your video. So this is the first thing that you need to sort out. Recording your voiceover is super easy to do with InVideo and it's much more accessible and affordable than hiring a voiceover artist of Fiverr or Upwork. Just sign into your InVideo account and click on the editor option in the dashboard. Choose landscape as your aspect ratio and this will open up InVideo's super intuitive editor. The center area right here is the canvas that will show you the preview of your video 
and below it is the timeline where all your media is going to be placed. On the left is the assets menu from where you will choose different assets to add to your video. Now to record a voiceover, you will have to add a placeholder media. So we will go to the image tab in the left and look for a placeholder image. Honestly, any image works. So simply click on the plus sign on the image and it gets added as a media layer on the timeline. This opens up the voiceover controls visible right above the timeline. To start recording your voiceover, simply click on the mic icon and select the option to record your voiceover. If you have an external microphone, plug it into your laptop now. Otherwise, just press on the little red mic to start recording using your laptop's internal microphone. Keep your script open so that you can read from it while the audio is recording. And don't worry if you fumble or make a mistake, we can easily edit that out later. Now, once your voiceover is recorded, click on add and it will get added to the timeline. Extend the duration of your image so that the entire voiceover is editable and then zoom into the timeline to see the waveforms more clearly. Now, in order to trim out the unnecessary parts such as fumbles, repetitions or long pauses, drag your cursor to the point that you want to cut and then either click on the scissor icon right above the timeline or press C on your keyboard to split the audio file. You can do this at as many places as necessary. To delete a portion between two splits, simply select it and press delete on your keyboard and then you can select the empty space again and then press delete again to sync up the audio. Once you've done that for the entire voiceover, it's time to move on to the next step, which is adding your media. Now for educational videos, you will need clips that clearly and correctly depict the subject matter that you're talking about. An easy way to figure this out is to break down each part of the script into smaller chunks and find relevant clips for those. For this video, we are introducing the topic of the video right up front. So we need to find relevant clips about reading that will match with the voiceover. So we'll begin by choosing the first clip. For that, we need to go to the video tab in the left menu and search for reading or books using relevant keywords. Try a few different keyword combination to see what results turn up. Now, once you find a clip you like, I like this one, simply click on the plus icon and click on add in the pop-up window that appears to add it to the timeline. Once it's added, we want to adjust the size to fit the screen. Simply select the clip on the canvas and drag around the endpoints. Once that is done, we want to trim the duration of this clip to match the voiceover. So I will simply drag the endpoint of the clip and bring it to where I want it to end. Now we want to look for the next clip, which is also going to be around the same concept of reading. So again, we'll go ahead and search for that using the search bar and then add it to the timeline in a similar fashion and then trim it. Now you can see that each new clip gets added as a separate layer. This can get super confusing in a video like this that is bound to have several different clips. So a great way to manage this is to line up all the clips related to one sequence or one part of your voiceover on one layer. And to do that, all you need to do is drag your clip on the timeline and simply place it next to the previous clip on the same layer. You can also place all your video clips on a single layer if that makes editing easier for you. Now you want to go ahead and listen to each part of the voiceover and keep adding relevant clips. Generally, you want to keep the length of each clip as three to four seconds because longer clips can quickly bore out viewers and they might drop off. Now, once all your media is added, it's time to add the finishing touches, that is your text and your background music. Since this is an educational video, the text you add plays a major role in capturing the audience's attention. Using text to introduce the topic of the video and then to highlight each section or each book is a good practice. So go to the text tab in the left menu and you can scroll through to find different text styles that already have animation added to them. Let's look through the minimalist options. I really like those styles. I particularly like this style. So to add it to the screen, I will simply click on it and it will get added on the canvas. I can then drag it around to reposition it, just make it a little bigger or smaller depending on how I want it to look on screen. And now I want the text to come on screen right at the beginning. So I will drag the text box and position it where the intro of the video starts. 
Now to edit the text itself, I will just double click on the text box to open the edit window and type out my own text. We want to say top 10 finance books everyone must read. Once the basic text is added, you can use the controls on top of the canvas to customize it further. I want to change the color of certain words to highlight them. So I will select them in the edit window and choose the highlight option that appears right on top of the selected text. Then I will go to the text color option on top of the canvas and change the color of the highlight. This looks good. You can similarly change the font, play with effects and even change the animation. I like all of those things for now, so I'm going to let them stay as is. You similarly want to go ahead and add text to the rest of your video. Once you have added all your text, it's time to add your background music. This helps viewers connect better with your video and makes it more engaging. So for that, go to the music tab in the left menu. Here you have a selection of royalty free music tracks segregated on the basis of mood and genre. We want the video to inspire and inform people. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the inspiring genre and browse through the different tracks. Once I find a track that I like, I will click on the plus icon to add it to the timeline. Right now, the music is playing at full volume. And that is making it hard for us to hear the voiceover. So I'm going to select the music track and then use the volume and fade controls on top to lower the volume so that it doesn't clash with the voiceover. Today we are talking about the top 10 list of finance books that everyone should definitely add to their reading list. Generally between minus 15 to minus 20 decibels is a good range, but give it a listen before you finalize. Now once you've added all your elements, it's time to preview your video. We've only created this for about 40 seconds so that you don't have to sit through a 10 minute preview. Simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like. Today, we are talking about the top 10 list of finance books that everyone should definitely add to their reading list. But before we dive in, let me share with you a little story. A few years back, I was lost in the world of finance. I didn't understand how stocks worked, how to manage my money or even what a 401k was. But then I stumbled upon a little book called The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. And that changed everything for me. Did you know that Warren Buffet, the Oracle of Omaha, credits this book as the reason he got into investing in the first place? It's a classic that has been around for over 70 years and it's still as relevant today as it was back then. And that has turned out to be pretty great. Now, once you're happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. If at any point during the process you face any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat option right above the timeline to speak to our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can also go to help.invideo.io to refer to the massive library of resources we have on using InVideo. Now, once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it to your channel. Make sure you think of a catchy title and design an interesting thumbnail to ensure people click on your video as well. And that's how you can create and build an educational YouTube channel that can get you views and make you real money in minutes with ChatGPT and in video.